I'm Chris Lytle. More than 60 years ago, Aaron Jones founded his first sawmill on Seneca Street in Eugene. And today, his daughters, Becky, Jody, and Kathy, carry on Aaron's vision as second generation owners, preserving the innovation that has made the Seneca family of companies the leader in the wood products industry. Here's Vice President and General Manager Todd Payne. His first year, he produced a little over 18 million board feet. And today, we have annual capacity of over 650 million board feet. He's grown from a single sawmill to a multi-sawmill facility with four sawmills, a renewable energy facility producing over 18 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to provide uh, annual energy for 13,000 homes. And we also sustainably manage 170,000 acres of timberland. Uh, we employ many manufacturing facilities directly related to wood products. There are several indirect, if you will, uh, manufacturing sectors that benefit uh, from that. As far as the, the local economy is concerned, you know, Seneca has continued to reinvest in their facilities. Uh, looking uh, in the recent past, we just completed a $65 million investment in the renewable energy facility that uh, came into commercial operation in 2011. That same year, we purchased a fourth sawmill out in Otai, just west of Eugene. Uh, and then just six months ago, we've announced a $60 million capital investment in improving our facilities here in Eugene. Hope to break ground in uh, mid to late spring with a 12 to 18 month completion. I think Seneca has been known for their, their innovation uh, over the years in their cutting edge technology. We continue to employ that today. And, and I think the industry in general is looking beyond traditional uh, manufacturing of, of wood products and they're looking at uh, new age technologies. That includes cross laminated timber. Uh, there's also bioenergy, which we have a new plant that uh, employs that technology. There's biofuels, and then there's kind of the, the leading edge, which is nanotechnology, which really takes and utilizes the, uh, the wood fiber in, in ways we haven't seen before. And I know there's a lot of studying going on at some of the universities, and I think you'll see that come into commercial operation over the course of the next five or ten years. So again, I think the key theme is we're taking a renewable and sustainable product and we're employing it in ways we haven't in the past.